That's right, Jen. Randall Stewart was sentenced for his crimes in 2012, but there was a miscommunication between the sentencing judge and the state prison where Mr. Stewart currently resides. Now, Stewart was convicted in 2010 for causing the death of Marceline Weaver and injuring other participants of a charity motorcycle ride. During his sentencing, officials misinterpreted his paperwork, allotting Stewart an additional 755 days of pretrial credit, which allowed him to have a sentence review a year earlier than the court intended. Today, the state asked a Rockingham Supreme Court judge to clarify the matter. I'm a year and a couple months over my minimum. I've been granted parole. I've got a, I've, I've completed focus. I've got, I'm going to Granite State Recovery, which is a two month long program. The intent of the court um, is clear in my mind from the, not only the transcript and the paper record. And, um, you know, if, if it's been misinterpreted, I apologize, but I will make it clear that this is the sentence you received um, at the date of sentencing in July of 2012. And now that the Superior Court issued its order, Stewart's new minimum parole date has been changed and he'll go before the parole board next week. Live in studio, Mike Cherry, WMUR News.